Hey everyone, welcome back to CyberNet. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up OpenVPN on PFSense step by step. In the previous video, we talked about which VPN is best for PFSense, and as I promised, this time I'll guide you through setting up OpenVPN from scratch, the easy way. Let's get started. Setting up a VPN allows you to securely connect to your home or office network remotely, giving you access to shared files, devices, or internal resources from anywhere. For this tutorial, I'm using a MyDIN DNS. If you don't have a DIN DNS or static IP, you'll need to configure DDNS, Dynamic DNS. DDNS automatically updates your external IP if it changes, Perfect if your router gets a dynamic IP from your ISP. You can use free services like DuckDNS or NoIP to set up DDNS on PFSense. I've already done a video on how to set up DDNS in PFSense, so if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. The link's in the description below. Now, let's move on to the OpenVPN configuration. In the PFSense dashboard, go to VPN, then OpenVPN. Click on Wizards. This makes setup much easier. Under type of server, you'll see three options, local user access, lightweight directory access protocol, and remote authentication dial-in service. In this video, we'll be using local user access, so go ahead and select that option. Create a new certificate authority and give it a descriptive name. The CA is the heart of OpenVPN security. It ties together identity, trust, and encryption. Next, create a server certificate. Again, give it a clear name so you can identify it later. For server setup, first give proper description. For protocol, select UDP IPv4 only. Interface, select your WAN interface or group interface name. Local port, I use default port. In tunnel settings, specify an IP range that's not already in use on your network. This will be your VPN client network. Tick the redirect IPv4 gateway if you want. It will redirect IPv4 gateway makes PFSense act as the main internet gateway for VPN clients. All their traffic goes through your PFSense. Enter your local network address if you want connected clients to access it. Otherwise, leave it blank. You can also limit the maximum number of clients that can connect simultaneously. Next, check both boxes to automatically create firewall rules, then click Next, and you will see Configuration Success Massage, then click Finish. That's it, your OpenVPN server is now installed and configured. Next, let's create a user account for VPN access. Go to System, User Manager, and Add. Enter a username and password. Use strong password and give a name for the user. And click Create User Certificate tick. Give it a descriptive name and select Certificate Authority we created earlier. Save the settings. Now we'll install the OpenVPN Client Export Package. This will let us easily download client configuration files. Go to System, Package Manager, Available Packages. Search for OpenVPN Client Export and click Install. And confirm. Wait for installation to complete. Don't refresh your browser. After you will see the installation success massage. Once installed, go to VPN, OpenVPN, and Client Export. Select your VPN server. For host name resolution, if you're using a static public IP, choose interface IP address. If you're using DDNS, select your DDNS host name. Scroll down and download the Windows client installer or the version for your OS. You can monitor VPN client, go to OpenVPN server and click this status icon. Then you can see OpenVPN connected all clients. Now, no one connected. This is my client PC. I copped earlier downloaded client exe, install the package,
After installation, right-click the Open VPN icon in the system tray and connect to your VPN. Enter your PFSense username and password, and once connected, you'll receive an IP address from the VPN tunnel network. You can now ping or access devices on your local network. Everything should work perfectly. If we check the OpenVPN status, now we can see My Client PC from PFSense. Also, you can manage client from there. That's how you set up OpenVPN on PFSense step by step. Thanks for watching. Now you know exactly how to set up and connect to OpenVPN on PFSense. In the next video, I'll show you how to configure IPsec VPN on PFSense, site to site VPN setup. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss the next part of this VPN series. This is Sakoon from Cybernet, and I'll see you in the next one.